Look at that. Who talking shit about Mama now, huh? Talking shit about Mama now that she can't run? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She running now. She getting... <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, she getting comfortable now, y'all. <laughs> Woo, damn. Track star right there, baby. Track star. <laughs> Even now, you're coming up to me. Fire lighting up the sky. Feel the ground shaking underneath. Trying to take me alive. I look good in no way. Yeah, so as I was telling you guys, like I, I could have went with the with the bait with something of a close to a bait. I could have got a bait female and honestly like go breed to a to a bait looking dog. Like something close to bait too as well. Like a half brother, half sister, or what you can do is uh just, just a line breed of dog that looks like bait, like a bulldoggy type of look. And uh, I could have done that. I honestly could have done that, but I don't know, like for me, like I didn't really like Bape like that. I, I didn't want to follow the hype of Bape, that Bape blood or all the other bloods as well, just because like I don't know, it just it just looks similar its own way. I told you guys like there's a reason. Like when I buy a dog, there's a reason why they're at the top of the top, right? They're at the top of the top. Um, but now I'm going on my word now. Like there, there's I'm a, I'm a balance in between. Like now with me, I don't like to follow that hype as well because I don't know. It just like with me, I didn't really like bait like that 100 percent. i like it 90 percent, but i don't like it 100 percent. <laughs> you know what i'm saying so i don't know something with bait i just wasn't really a fan of the body the body structure of the of the bait blood don't get me wrong i love the head the head piece is amazing one of the best signature head piece styles there ever is in the bully world um just like our frenchies are the the dk or the xb or grinch Seuss. it's kind of like that so they all look good in their own way um, but with bait, like the also reason why I didn't want to get into the bait too, because I know it's so easy to get that bait blood because if I, it's so big now, um, if I got a bait female or something close to a bait and bred to another bait son or bait, bait male, bait looking male, I can get a bait. <laughs> I could honestly get a bait, but I didn't want to do that. I, I really didn't want to just, as I said, I'm not a really fan of the body. Um, looks too bulldoggy for me. I, I didn't really want a bulldoggy type of bully. I actually really wanted to express a real bully um from what i feel right not from what i like think or what i think the bully should be no it's it's what i feel and not to disrespect vape or nothing or them at all i love vape too but as i said i i want you guys to find a vision of what you truly like what you truly love um i like the look of those china dogs better china's dogs uh, really clean really bully too and uh really structured clean functional really crazy and you know america's america and china um they have a whole completely different type of style of bullies and i'm starting to dig those those bullies in china i love to look in china instead and um you know just that that's pretty much it so you know who knows i i might get into bait um i've seen better versions of bait i've seen the best of the best of the bait blood um i do like those now like a direct bait licking dog that's that's only bait, not touch with anything else. Not really a fan of, um, unless you work the dog out. But still, like, I like a dog to be to be muscular, um, bully looking. Um, that's just my style. Not to hate on bait or nothing at all, you guys. I just just hope you guys can understand. Like, if you guys have bapes, you guys have bait licking dogs. Um, it's not to disrespect you guys. You know, it's it's within my vision. And hopefully, you can actually uh, respect <laughs> my feelings and what I think about bait. And um, that you can respect me as well because I love bait too, guys. I love bait. I'm not shitting on bait um, or the other bloods as well. But I, I want to create an own vision of what I love, what I like. Look at that. Damn, bro. She look good, bro. She look good. So, hey, guys. Today, just really wanted to talk to you guys pretty much about how to make breedings click. <laughs> how to make breedings click. How to actually have nice litters. And to tell you guys the truth. It just comes down to experiment <laughs> experiment just because like i can't teach you guys that i really can't yeah i can't teach you guys that even with learning from my uncles um that are at the top of the top in the french in the french world right now with primitive bullies it's to make breeding click it's 
it, it's it's trial and error. Like it's not trial and error. It's just you just have to wait and see. You just have to wait and see. Just because, like, <laughs> it's it's so hard to explain because how to make litters click because it, it, it is actually really damn hard. You, you know why? Because the thing is like, even when you throw two badass parents together, a nice stud, a nice female, sometimes they just don't look as good as the parents or sometimes you just don't, it just doesn't expect how you want it to be, right? They're gonna look good regardless. They're gonna look good. Um, but the thing is, it's just, you're just trying to outproduce. You're trying to pick the best of the best. And now, how I look at it too, when you have puppies um, comparable with the parents, it's either if the parents look good, I keep burping y'all. If the parents look good, no, if the puppies look good in their own way, then that's a successful litter. But if you're, if you're trying to recreate how the parents are gonna look like, if I'm like, let's say for example, if I'm trying to breed Momo to create a dog that looks like Devil Cell, cause she's a two time Devil Cell, right? Her daddy is Devil Cell. I could never, ever create another Devil Cell. But what I can do is create another dog that looks good in his own way. But it, it's the bloods from Devil Cell. You know, you know what I'm saying? The blood is from Devil Cell. So all I know is that the pedigree behind Momo is really stacked. It's really good. So anything that I throw at Momo, it's going to be good regardless, right? It's going to be good regardless. And all these dogs are going to look good. My friend G Farm right here. <laughs> Vegeta, you getting your freak on? This breeding right here is going down, you guys. Cardi Reaper. Cardi Reaper. Got Diamond too. Woo! We got so many. Vegeta's busy, bro. Vegeta's staying busy right here. And I got another breeding with somebody else too. So Vegeta's staying real busy right now. So yeah, that's 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 pretty much it that I wanted to talk with you guys. Just because, man, like, as I said. I can never teach you guys how to make breeding split because you just have to wait and see. People are always <laughs> hyping up, right? Saying, oh, this is gonna be the best breeding for the next gen. This is gonna be a heavy hitter, right? A heavy hitter or what else? Uh, my stud is a proven producer. My stud is a proven producer. Even I do it, <laughs> even I do it myself, right? I just wanna be honest with you guys. Um, it's all about hype, it really is, it's all about hype. But to tell you guys the truth, like, I just wanted to tell you guys, man, even the best, like, if a, if a stud's known to be a proven producer, I honestly think it's just, like, a, it's just, like, a tactic for, uh, like, for breeding, like, uh, for sales, for business. And honestly, you guys, like, even if a stud's known to be a proven producer, sometimes, some breedings with that stud, it, it doesn't work out. It doesn't click. <laughs> that's just, that's just the damn truth. It just doesn't click. It doesn't work out. Right. That's, that's what makes breeding so, like, predictable and just like, yo, like, why isn't things not working? Or, man, even when I throw ugly things together, it, it works out better than what I expected, right? Say, for example, like, Roach going in with, with Letty. Um, I think, in my opinion, Suki and Cypher, they turn out... I'm not going to lie. They, they, I think I would consider them one of the best of the best Frenchies, in my opinion. In, in my, in, from what I've seen, I think they are the best of the best. Like, the best of the best of what I love, too. And I think everybody's going to like it. And when I say everybody, I, I meant, like, a, a, maybe, like, 95% of people. Like, 99%. I think they're going to like Suki and Cypher when they, when they see them at shows. They just look fucking good, man. They just, they just look good, bro. They just look good. I, I'm, I'm not kidding, too. Like, everybody's gonna like them. And even if they don't like them, hey, they have a different vision. That's that's totally fine. So, but I honestly think that they're gonna look good regardless, man. I was like, fuck, dude, this pretty ink worked out well. And Letty, honestly, she wasn't even like that good looking of a bitch, too. <laughs> she was like a brute bitch. She was ugly bitch. And Roach's structure, Roach was pretty big, man. Ro Roach was a, he was a big, he was a big guy. And uh, to put them two together and it makes small females. All the whole litter came out consistent. Suki and Cypher, the sisters, they came out pretty damn nice. I'm like, damn. I was like, so it tells me, man, like from what I've learned with the experience with Frenchies, some breedings just have to click. It doesn't matter if your stud is a proven producer or not. Some breedings just have to click, right? With your female. Some breedings just, just doesn't work out the way you like it to be. You know, with bullies, for example, some came out too long snow, some came out. 
uh, all short tails like hey you just you just unlucky or it just doesn't click right right so that's what i wanted to talk about with you guys today just because like i can never teach you guys how to actually make things click you just have to just wait and see <laughs> wait and see because even i'm still learning right that's the unpredictable that no other breeder will know unless you line breed that's the only reason why you line breed just to make things more consistent to make more things more more freakier in its own way if you know the genetics behind that dog right in terms of going with structure and all that good stuff so that's pretty much it that i wanted to talk to you guys with you today and uh yeah oh wait actually hold on yeah a lot of you guys were actually um text me about uh using a stud for momo uh, i appreciate the the offers you guys <laughs> with uh we using momo or we're studying out to you guys but hey i'm still looking around no disrespect to your stud at all um but right now i am trying to still find my vision on what i love what i want in my bully um i already kind of know you know what's what's out there i kind i kind of already know what i what i love it's pretty much like a devil cell in a in a lilac suit in a lilac tri suit and that's that's pretty much it i want to create something like that because i don't know i just love devil cell i i just love them short and it doesn't matter how many pounds they are as long as the dog is short and they're just thick as fuck like thick muscular built then then i'm happy with that um, I like it a little dirty looking as well. Um, he's not, he's not too bulldoggy too. He's not too bulldoggy, but he's also not too pit bully long snout. He's like a balance in between as well, and I just love that. Um, he looks aggressive, looks mean, looks like a Goliath for real. So I, I love that was sell. That was sell is like you know one of my main visions that I want to create. But I know in the end I will never ever create another devil cell. But what I can do is create a dog in its own style that looks good, that comes for him right so as i said i just know that momo's pedigree is stacked anything that i throw at her it's gonna turn out good regardless just because she's a really good foundation female and that's pretty much it hopefully you guys stay in tune with my journey in another in another year so we will see how momo turns out momo's gonna be badass i believe in the blood you believe in the blood it's gonna be nice so i'm really excited how these breedings gonna turn out and uh um, yeah i'm really happy iggy <laughs> all right guys that's pretty much it like like and subscribe you guys and hopefully you guys enjoy the content and uh, learn something from this um so yeah can you make breedings click you just have to wait and see baby. Let's go.